do a little tutorial here. It's raining out, so I kind of figure that um, it's a good day to do this. I uh, got this question a couple times from people and uh, about the bandanas I wear. You know, how do I tie it like this? You see how it's tied? You know, I got a couple of them here. Got this one. Got this Willie Nelson concert one. I love this one. One of my faves. But um, really, I don't usually wear these outdoor research bags. Are wonderful, by the way. I don't usually wear a bandana. Bandana, shall we say? I wear one of these tube tube bandanas, and what I just do is I kind of, you know, I can wear it like. Uh, ah. Where like this neck gaiter, you know, you can wear it like uh, pull it up, let your hair cover it. It's a nice tube. This is by Buff. That's why it's a little tighter. Um, you get the quality that you pay for. This one I got after. Well, I had it when Valerie was alive. I got it. It's kind of like symbolic of her, and. Uh, uh, it's Malioker, I believe. You can't even, you can't even buy it anymore. But then you can kind of like take it and like if I pull it all the way down. Or my ugly mug here. I can just take it and just bring it all the way up. Or like a bandana, you know, cover my ears. I can, uh, if I want to sleep, I can cover my eyes that way. Very versatile. Um, I can take it, turn it inside out, do a twist, pull it back over itself. Make it into sort of a beanie, which I never wear it this way. I never wear a beanie. But that would be the beanie, you know, you gotta straighten up a little bit but that's not what we're here to talk about we're here to talk about your old school bandana this one's a uh, bug shield and sex shield really good to have I have worn this not very often so go you got your you got your bandana right okay this is how I was taught to tie one I'm gonna go through it all right now I'm going to look which is the front and which is the back so this is the front this is the back so I'm going to take uh, the back I want it inside out with my longer hair this isn't the easiest thing to do but uh, and take it like that inside out you see the back side of it you don't see anything that's uh, of the pattern and I'm going to put it across my eyes and tie it just like this I'm kind of hard with long hair I'm going to get it caught in here I'm going to tie it I'm trying not to get my hair caught in it tie it loosely about where I want it so my guess. So now I take that front part. There's two parts to this, like a duck's bill. I take that top part. I'm gonna pull it all the way back, back through that knot. And I'm gonna take these sides. I'm just gonna kind of tuck it in, kind of tuck it in real nice to where I feel I want it. Slide back pull slide back and pull and I want it to the spot like if you had a band the picture would be right about here or something whatever you want on it I'll pull it back maybe right about there got the tongue and uh, you can take it from there position it 
untie the back adjust it a little better and to where it goes through tie that loosely not real tight make sure your hair is not caught in it you can just fold this up if you want to okay um, you can I would fold it to where you pretty much want it to be I found out after when I folded that together from corner to corner it's not exactly a uh, square bandana for whatever reason it's a little more of a rectangle but it works so I have it right here and you, you can go with that you know you can go with that look tuck this in um, what you're gonna have is a band in the front where it's gonna fold up and it's gonna give us I think it was a strange look I don't like it but I'm gonna stop right there I'm gonna pinch this take it off very easily and I'm gonna take this and I'm going to just steady it right at that spot fold it back in without losing my shape Sometimes if this doesn't work, you got to start all over again. So be it. But now, stick that on my head again. Bring that knot back to where I had it, where I want it, you know. So what you're going to want is to feel. Is that knot in the back? Because you're going to want to know this is the back, this is the front. If you have a pattern on it, it's really going to show if it's not. One like this. And uh, with your paisleys and your, so I'm gonna tuck this in, like so. Tuck that in like so. Try to get all these creases out. Fold this back in, and I'm gonna untie it again because I uh, feel that even though this step is not necessary, it makes it look better. Now I can really get it to where I can center it down um, to where I want it to hold. Because if not, you're going to have it here in, the, here in the back. It might be too tight. You'll be struggling with this pulling up in the front because you've adjusted it uh, that way. So now I don't have that material in the front that looks like a... I think it looks like like a baby's diaper <laughs> you don't want to look i don't want to look like a baby's diaper so i got this on there and kind of like press along the sides and push this to this this is the band okay so what i've done is instead of just tying a bandana in a triangle folding it back just tucking it in i've pulled that back to where instead of it being in the middle here the middle would be further back so I've got more hanging down in the back I've got less bunching up here and by tying it and pulling it in by doing it inside out I've got it adjusted really well now I've got my bandana on I can look in a mirror or whatever and see how it fits you know this works really good with that Willie bandana or the one Raylan gave me because it allows you to uh, adjust this and get their band name on it, whatever you want. And it kind of sits, you know, like a do-rag. It's not really my preferred style. I like the tube ones, but, you know, if you don't have a tube bandana on you, you can wear this kind and tie it this way and it works. It works the same way. It really does. I carry carry this one a lot because of the insect shield material on it. There's a spray that makes it insects don't go on it, but you can tie it however you want to. It's up to you.